Good morning, teachers and students. Today is Friday, December 18th. We welcome you to Most Holy Trinity Catholic School this morning. We're glad all of you are here with us. Today, we're going to tell our last story for this Advent from the Jesse Tree. Now, before I do that, I want to explain there are many stories from the Jesse Tree that we didn't tell because we didn't have time. We will probably tell those next year. If you're here during Advent, you will hear other stories. You will hear a few of the same ones, but you will hear other stories. There are 24 stories in all. I hope you've enjoyed them. Let's tell today's story now. Today's story is about Mary and Joseph traveling to Bethlehem. Boys and girls, sometimes taking a trip is fun, like when we go on vacation. Sometimes it's not so fun like when we go to the doctor when we're sick. But usually we're, when we're on a journey, whether a short trip or a long one, we experience something new. We learn things on a journey. Mary and Joseph went on a journey. If we were to take the same journey by car, it wouldn't take very long. But because Mary and Joseph were walking, it took a long time. They had to go to Bethlehem because the country's ruler said they had to but it was all part of God's plan. That is one thing that Joseph and Mary learned on their journey. Let's join together in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Please join in a special prayer for Sophia Jamoralin in second grade, um, who's still um, in the hospital, and for everyone who is infected with COVID-19. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. If God is for us, who can be against us? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. I want to start off by wishing happy birthday to Cecila Martinez in seventh grade. Her birthday is tomorrow. Lucas Campos in fourth grade. His birthday is a week from Sunday. And Davina Estrada in fifth grade. Her birthday is December 29th. Happy birthday, Cecila, Lucas, and Davina. We hope you enjoy your special day. Our gift basket raffle will be today. Final chance to get tickets is this morning, and we are probably going to stop sales at 10 a.m. Tickets are a dollar each or six for five dollars. If you want to get some, if your parents want to get some tickets, they will need to call us by 10 a.m. or come by. We have sold lots of tickets. Thank you to everybody who's bought some, and I wish all of you the best of luck. We are still collecting for. Guiding Star, if you have baby, baby items to donate, please uh, bring them by the office by the end of the day today. We will be taking them to Guiding Star on Monday. There is Mass today. Please be sure you're on your best behavior. Today, Father is going to talk about longing to be with God. So we will publish our virtual posada and nativity today. Thank you everyone who sent pictures. Thank you to our narrators for the posada. You all did a very nice job. We hope you enjoy what you see today. This will be out on email sometime after 
our drawing at 11 a.m. today. We will also post those winners today as part of that publication. Also, second quarter ends today. All work is due by today. Finally, early release is today at 1 p.m. Boys and girls, this means 1 p.m. That doesn't mean 8.30 a.m. Let's make sure you have a good day at school today. Let's get all your work done. If you're taking tests today, I expect you to do your best. I don't hope you do your best. I expect you to do your best, especially the classes I talked to yesterday. Let's give it your very best, and I want to see that you made good grades on your last day before Christmas vacation, which takes me to my final announcements. I want to wish all of you a safe and blessed Christmas vacation. Now remember, if you go somewhere this holiday season, if your parents take you shopping or if you go to visit family or friends, or if you go hang out with Cisla or Davina or Lucas for their birthday, let's make sure you stay safe. Wear a mask, stay socially distanced, make sure to wash your hands frequently. Let's practice good health habits so that you're ready to come back to school on January 5th. We look forward to seeing you then. We wish all of you a safe and blessed Christmas.